Hi, I'm Lee. And I'm Morten. And we're LEGO designers. In this video, we will show you how to use the distance and color sensors, along with the basic sensor code blocks. This is your distance sensor, this is your color sensor, and this is your Mindstorms hub that actually has a built-in gyro motion sensor. Let's begin with the distance sensor. Triggy has volunteered to demonstrate how it works. Let's make a little program that makes Triggy drive forward and then stop when the ball is detected by the distance sensor. First, take a move block to get Triggy moving. Then take this control block wait until and put this distance sensor block inside it. I think Triggy should stop at around 10 cm from the ball, so I put that in the sensor block. And then a stop move block underneath. Now we have programmed a condition, wait until detection at 10 cm, and also what happens when that condition is met. Let's see if it works. Well done, Tricky! As we saw in this example, sensor blocks and sensors can be used to set a condition and execute a piece of code when that condition is met. Now, let's try out the color sensor, which we have already connected to port B in the hub. In the event category, you find start blocks that trigger with sensor input. Let's use this one that uses color. Set the color event block to yellow. Then copy it and change the value to blue on the second block. Now we have two starting events. Let's use these two events to play a different sound depending on which color the sensor sees. Let's see how it works. When I show yellow, the hop plays this sound. And when I show blue, the hop plays this sound. It works! In this video, you have seen the distance sensor and the color sensor. But there is also other sensors you can explore and play around with. Have fun! Thank you for watching.